This thing does cost about $42 to buy from quantities 1 through 19. But I, I, I would advise, you know, if you're going to buy a lot of these, look at buying in higher quantities because you get a, bit, a little bit of a discount. And uh, more of a discount basically saves you money. Now, the next one I like to buy is the one ounce Canadian silver uh, leaf. This one's a really nice one. There's also uh, a big difference. So if you're looking at in silver, you're getting the same amount of silver, but you are getting a big difference. So it's just like $34 per ounce. And this is sitting at $42. Now this is basically a more popular coin, a uh, more popular uh, piece of uh, silver. So it's gonna be a little bit higher. Now, when it comes to this vacations and the details, check it out, guys, it contains one ounce silver uh, 9999 fine silver so you're talking about very very pure silver it also is uh the one ounce silver uh, round i like buying this because it is one ounce of silver and it's a lot cheaper so you can get a lot more silver more bang for your buck the next thing is the apmx this one's like the standard round for apmx i always buy this one and i always get the higher ounces uh, and sometimes the bars that like the one ounce uh silver bar uh the 10 10 ounce and uh, the tennis is probably my standard one that I always buy. So basically it's like this bar here, but you guys, there's a one ounce, 10 ounce, and a hundred ounce. I usually get the one ounce and, and 10 ounce ones. So if you look at it right here, here's a 10 ounce silver bar. Now this is one of my favorite things to buy because one, the stacking is very easy. You get a whole bunch of these. Now, I used to remember when they were like 200 and I was like $201. <laughs> it's been a long time stacking, but. Uh, this is a really good standard bar to buy. If you're looking at buying silver, please check this out. It's very smooth, very clean, very shiny. I uh, would also, uh, this silver bar is very, very good to have in your portfolio. It's easy to be sold. And now we're talking about some gold, guys. So here's the ones I usually buy when it comes to gold. Uh, the one, the the one I buy this very rarely because it's so expensive. It's just almost like two grand for this. So I usually get the ten gram or the half half ounce. And uh, I usually stack that when it comes to gold. I primarily go into silver, then gold, because the, the gold silver ratio is leaning so much more towards uh, silver. But I like to have both. But this is the main things that I like to hodl in order to put in those terms for your crypto guys out there. But uh, I put this in line in my portfolio. It's the majority of my portfolio is precious metals, because I think the you know current fiat currencies are in a mess basically. But if you guys want to learn more about uh, precious metals. Go to my website, click Economy, and uh, head down there. I got a whole bunch of links for it. I uh, will be changing this up, so it will look a lot aesthetically better. But if you have any questions or comments, guys, put them in the description box below. I like talking about silver, like talking precious metals. made a whole bunch of videos about it, so check those out. But other than that, guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.